Do you like the smell of farts? Well, if you do, you like sulfur. Sulfur is really cool, but I want to talk about what sulfur can even do when it's attached to four oxygen molecules. It is now called sulfate, and sulfate is magical. The two things I want to talk about with sulfate is how it interacts with hormones. So if you have any sex hormone problems or vitamin D problems, you'll want to listen to this video. And how it affects coagulation. So if you've got endothelial dysfunction or had been exposed to a virus and now have blood clotting problems, you'll want to listen to this video. So sulfate's one of our body's main mechanisms on how to detoxify. It's able to inactivate things. So you have something active and toxic in your body, your body will just add a sulfate group to it and it becomes deactivated, an inability to hurt you, and it becomes a whole more water soluble. So with its ability to deactivate stuff, it deactivates hormones. So if you ever heard of the active form of vitamin D and then you have the inactive form of vitamin D, which is vitamin D sulfate, that's because your body will ship hormones around to the rest of your body by attaching a sulfate to it. And it does that because if it were not attached to that sulfate group, it would just attach to a hormone receptor wherever. So it needs to get shipped off to where it needs to go. The second part has to do with your endothelial glycocalyx. Now your endothelial glycocalyx is essentially your blood vessels have this lining, this gel-like hair sugar structure on it called the glycocalyx. The glycocalyx is negatively charged, just like your red blood cells, cholesterol sulfate is negatively charged, which allows red blood cells to easily flow through your blood vessels so you have a healthy vascular system. Now, what makes up a healthy glycocalyx? Well, a healthy glycocalyx is made up of heparin sulfate. It's make, made up of chondroitin sulfate. You've got uh, glucosamine sulfate. You see why this is important? It's the building blocks to a healthy blood vessel system. So people who have a diet low in sulfur or have problems with converting sulfites or sulfide into sulfate, they will display these symptoms. Symptoms that represent like mast cell activation syndrome, but aren't mast cell activation syndrome. And they kind of look like allergies, but they don't have allergies. Sulfur and sulfate metabolism is so important for having a healthy body. So if you're deficient or have a problem metabolizing these things, you're going to have low vitamin D, low testosterone, improper balance of estrogen and progesterone. You may not even produce pregnenolone well. DHEA, DHT, there are so many hormones that rely on sulfate and being deficient in sulfur and not metabolizing sulfites, well, you will have a problem with your vascular system and you can get problems with atherosclerosis and plaquing a lot easier. Follow for more windy tips.